Okay, that's a great question. I get it all the time. And I think that depending on, the answer really depends on who you're gonna talk to. But Overdrive Interactive is an agency, right? So most of the stuff we do is other larger ABM programs. ABM is under the demand gen umbrella, okay? So if you look at a full funnel marketing campaign like this, where you have brand awareness, and then you're doing demand gen where you don't really know who you're advertising to, but you're primarily kind of using content and content syndication. You're targeting people based on their firmographics, their demographics, but you really don't know exactly who they are. That's demand gen. ABM is sort of one step in the sales funnel from demand gen. And really the thing to me, um, make ABM, ABM or account-based marketing, account-based marketing, is that we're utilizing a couple of key um, targeting methodologies. The first is intent targeting. Now you could say that search is intent targeting, but there are ABM targeting options from providers like Demandbase, Sixth Sense. They use what's called intent targeting. So intent targeting is, gee, um, we noticed that Harry Gold, the CEO of Overdrive Interactive, consumed 20 pieces of content around databases, data visualization, and dashboards. Gee, he must be in the market for a solution like Tableau or Power BI or SciSense or something like that. So I would be put into a surging intent bucket. Now, if, if my company is one of the companies that a vendor is going after, they're going to start targeting me with ads. So that's intent targeting. Then you also have custom audiences. When we're doing ABM, if we do our job well, we know in advance who we want to talk to. And that's why it's different than, say, SCM or demand gen, where we're out there advertising. When we're doing demand gen, for a lot of our clients, all the prospects they want to talk to are already in their CRM system. So this is less about generating net new names and more about encouraging engagement and sales escalation within a certain audience. So basically, if you do your job well, the first thing you wanna do is build your database of prospective buyers. So you take something like, you know, I had a client doing supply chain management software. There was probably about 60,000 people in the world that they wanted to talk to, okay? So we had those people on our database and now what we were doing was using custom audiences where we take those names and email addresses, we upload them to various systems like LinkedIn, Google, and various ABM providers. And now we're able to bid on just those people. So we're getting engagement, we're getting them to fill out forms and download white papers and things like that but they're already in our CRM system. So they're not net new leads. What are we doing? And this is where the key differentiator comes in. In demand gen, what you're doing is generating net new leads. In ABM, you are generating engagement to grow your sales pipeline and to grow the lead score of these various, peoples, of these various people within your database. So to me, the difference between demand gen and ABM is that demand gen, I'm targeting people based on content, based on a little bit on, on intent. But in ABM, I'm really targeting people on intent combined with the fact that I know who they are and I know what companies they work at. <laughs>